a proton and its antimatter equivalent, an antiproton, which has the same mass as a proton but the opposite charge, collide and completely annihilate each other. How much energy is released in joules? Well, E equals mc squared. We'll go back to that formula because we're going to look for an SI unit output in joules. The mass that's converted to energy is going to be 2 times the mass of the proton. Because it's antimatter equivalent, we've got two of these that are actually being converted to energy. That's 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second squared. 2 times 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 times 3 times 10 to the 8th times 3 times 10 to the 8th gives me 3 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. That's a lot of energy for one proton and one antiproton. All right, hopefully that gets you a good start on nuclear physics. Thanks so much for your time. Make it a great day, everyone.